So I've been out and I've bought some Morrisons. Now, this is a fuel I didn't even know existed until uh, people asked for it. I didn't know that they did E5. Um, I knew they did E10 because that's what's available to me locally. But uh, I had to travel a bit to get this. But we have it and uh, we are going to review it. So previous to this, we did only do the E10 Morrison's fuel on a test. That was back in February. I did that in with the E10 like shootout one where it's all of the E10s put together. And uh, that came in at 141.9 pence per litre back in February. And I bought its fuel yesterday, which was Saturday night. And 185.4 pence per litre it was. That's 44 pence rise. So that, but yeah, it's, it's there, isn't it? It's a similar sort of rise. So maybe it's going down a little bit, uh, which would be good if it is going down a little bit because 185.4. Anyway, so the E5, a super unleaded, that came in at 192.4 pence per litre, which, if it's a low E5, is a good, it's a good price. It, it, it's, it's not bad. Last time we did it, the E10, that was 7.5%, it was, back in February it was a high one. So what that's like now, we'll, we'll soon find out, won't we? So I'll put some fuel in and we'll come back to it. So we started off with 20 mils of dyed blue water in the bottom and we added 200 mils of fuel into each measuring jug. The left one is the standard 95 octane E10. The right one, Morrison's is a 97 in its E5. So first impressions, the E10 on the left, that has not moved at all. And you, that is just absolutely exactly where it was. I'm expecting that to go up, obviously. Purely for the fact, when they usually don't go up that much, they often sink down, it's like they've compressed. Now, the E5 on the right, the 97, super, that has dropped. I sort of done that compressing thing. Not quite as much as some of them, so I'm expecting it will go up. But, well, we don't know until we test it, do we? So, I'll agitate these. I'll pour them in and out of a, a clean measuring jug a good few times. That simulates that sort of shake up in your tank if you're driving around and you had some of this terrible stuff floating around. We'll leave it to settle for a good half an hour and we'll come back to it. So I'll see you in probably about 10 seconds. And we're back. So the E10 on the left, that is now just below the 7.5% mark. Each increment on there is 2.5%. Uh, the bottom one, starting from the bottom one. So just under, I'm going to say it's 7%, it's literally just under, which is it's lost half a percent so it's, at least it's not gained it and the e5 super unleaded that is bang on two and a half percent so that's not a bad result uh it's actually better than i expected so yeah it's, i think it's it's good so next we'll be uh putting these into those e5 videos e10 videos so i'll put them in which i personally think if i was using them which which i would go for first down to ethanol content, price, and the octane uh, rating on it. So right, thank you for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.